robots. What do you think about when it comes to robots? I know I think about Iron Man, the ability to strap on a suit that's intelligent and enables you to do things you could not imagine possible. That's what I think about when it comes to robots. What about astronauts? What do you think about there? I think of the ability to strap on a suit and be able to bounce around on the moon without the feeling of gravity on you, that whole sense of weightlessness, the whole sense of possibilities and being able to do things that you couldn't imagine you could do otherwise. Astronauts and robots. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be introducing to you today the Aerotech Zero G. This is the new frontier in paediatric rehabilitation practices. This is where therapy was always meant to head. This is where we wanted to go all this time. This was the true missing link. Now the story of why we decided that this piece of equipment was so vital actually goes back 10 years. 10 years ago, I had the great privilege of being sent to the US of A to do a bit of a tour around the rehabilitation centers there. And my goodness, did it take my breath away. One of the centers that I visited, which is now called the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab, really was something that I continue to think about. It opened my eyes to the possibilities of what technology could do in rehabilitation. Now, the physical therapist at the time took me to the seventh floor. This was their piece de resistance. It was their first ward where they really integrated technology. And as I came out of the lift, I was met with endless people walking down the corridor. People who had had strokes, who had had some kind of spinal cord injury, and there they were harnessed with this, this harness system, hooked up to a harness system above their head, and they were just walking laps doing obstacle courses. And I thought, what is this? This is amazing. And the physical therapist said to me, this is all about getting them into community. This is about balance. This is about real life practice. This is about people being able to do things without the fear of falling, because the system will catch them. It is all about independence. And that really stuck with me. I'd never seen a system like that before. Fast forward five years, I go to London for rehab week. Now one of the incredible pieces of equipment that I saw there was this exact system. I saw someone in the unit showing it off, pretending to fall, being caught again, being able to do all different kinds of activities, being able to run, being able to jump, being able to get from the floor to stand, all without a therapist having to necessarily be right there, they were able to do it themselves. And I thought, man, I really want one of them. But I knew that we had to one, start Healthy Strides, secondly, find the right space for it, and thirdly, get the funding. So last year, at the Telethon 7 event, we were so fortunate to be able to put forward the idea to get this piece of equipment. The time was now, we were about to move into our new building. We had to make sure that everything was ready for it. And with the support of Mineral Resources and the Telethon 7 Trust, we managed to get this vital piece of equipment funded. And in 2022, we got this installed in our brand new building. This piece of equipment is the first of its kind in paediatric rehabilitation in Australia. You can see why we're really excited about it. Now, where does robots and astronauts come into play? Well, it has to be about robots that are intelligent. It's about their ability to be able to support someone to do something they could not otherwise do. Now, it's not about taking over the movement. That's why we talk about this hands-off therapy, because it has to be the person that does a lot of the movement themselves, if that's to carry on outside the therapy setting. So to find the right robot, it had to be the right one that where the physiotherapist could still come in and control it, to be able to take support away, put support in, so it's still really individual. And the Zero-G robot is intelligent. It senses all of these things, provides the support when it needs to. It takes away support when the person becomes more independent. Why astronauts? Well, as Zero-G suggests, it's all about taking the right amount of weight away from a person so they can do more without the fear of falling. What are the things that you could imagine doing if you didn't have to think about falling? And think about that for a child who's trying to learn how to sit, how to stand, how to walk. These possibilities now become so much more tangible. Now you've seen us do before partial body weight supported treadmill training where children are strapped up to a harness, but it's very static. We can support how much weight they need to be supported with, but it doesn't adjust to the person itself. 
This now takes it away from that. So a child can do all of those movements with the elimination of weight. And gradually these can be implemented back so they can get back into doing what they want to be able to do. This is why it is the next frontier of rehabilitation practices. It has been the missing link. This is going to be the key in getting our children to be more independent, making us redundant and making the child more able to be independent because that means better quality of life. That means participation. And we're all about that. It's not about being good at therapy. It's not being good in the setting that we see people set up in here. It's about getting kids out there to be good at doing whatever it is that they dream of doing. So our new program called Stride Zero G is all about that. We're so excited that this is now going to be available for children in Western Australia. With our generous sponsors of Mineral Resources and the Telethon 7 Trust, this is now available right now. So for more information on any of this, please head over to our website.